Assalamu alaikum welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial we are going to work on third person uh, full step sounds and niagara dust particles like uh, you can see for the running and also for the crouch and while crouching or sneaking you will notice that and the footstep sound volume is low as compared to the running animation footstep sound and just ignore the uh, sneaking and crouch clinky animation because this tutorial was not about the perfection of the animations it was just for how to make the uh, system work for running and crouch uh, sounds and Niagara particles and you can get the project files on my patreon and let's jump into the tutorial let's start our tutorial <clears throat> first of all we will do uh, a little work on the animations right now this is our character and it is in it has idle animation and the running animation so we will apply uh, idle crouch animation and crouch or sneaking forward animation on it so this tutorial is not basically about uh, animations so the animation results will not be perfect uh, but we will do the basics on animation because it is compulsory for that tutorial so for the crouch and the sneaking animation I took the animations from Mixamo so first of all with that character I have uh, inside the easy game mechanics folder these are all the tutorials uh, and you can get project files of all these tutorials on my patreon right now it is a 30th tutorial uh, and this is the folder for the footsteps so these are the animations run animation and walk animations which uh, is currently used by that character so so uh, in the content characters and the mixama folder these are the animations i downloaded from mixama and the skeleton is converted to ue4 uh, ue5 skeleton uh, compatible so if you know uh, if your as uh, both skeletons are 100% compatible with each other then you can use the animations uh, without uh, retargeting so for that you have to go in both skeletons one by one and in the windows go to asset detail if you are doing it for SK mannequin then select the mixamo skeleton here and if you are doing for the mixamo go to windows and asset details and select the skeleton mannequin now after that you can use the uh, animations of mixamo skeleton on that skeleton and the animations of that skeleton on hit this one so right now now we can use these animations with our this character so let's go back to our uh, tutorial uh, tutorial folder content tutorials easy game mechanics and uh, this one now go to there this is our and uh, this is our blend space idle to run and this is a blend space from idle let this is a um, blend space from idle to walk and run simple and this is for the crouch so this is for idle crouch and this is for uh, sneaking world as i told you earlier that <laughs> we are not going to get uh, perfect results but for the sake of this tutorial it will do the job but i will do uh, uh, other tutorials about the retargeting and about the animations later so it looks a bit funny but let's start our work there so go into the 
ABP. Uh, so first of all, go into the uh, that as third person character. Inside it, uh, character movement. Search for Crouch and can Crouch check it and keyboard T key. on press Crouch and on release uncrouch and now our character can crouch and uncrouch but for to make it uh, work properly we have to do the animation work inside the anim blueprint go into that folder again now open that anim blueprint and you will get something like that which is uh, the default from the epic games Go into the anim graphs, go into the locomotion and delete that. We don't need that. Go to the walk run animation and inside there uh, bring uh, asset browser, bring uh, crouch, blend space crouch, which I showed you earlier, and connect that with both. Now, now uh, we have to select which animation should work. So for that, we have to create a boolean of crouch here. And after that, we have to create a boolean here also. Let's go back here. Now, create a boolean here. can crouch anim and in there make it true and in there set it to false compile save now go back to our anim blueprint go back to event graphs and now from here add pin here and copy that and bring it here cast to TPC so that is uh, the class for our that tutorial now connect that from there get is crouched and Uh, sorry, get that is where is our created variable get can okay get can cross okay that one so here again create a variable here can cross and set it. Now, when our character go into the crouch state here, when we press C, it will make that boolean true. And when we release a button C, and as it makes it false here, it will make false that boolean here also. Now, go back to anim graph, go into the locomotion, go back to walk and run now we can select here you can use blend pose boolean that's it uh, the first pose which we will use by default which is a uh, idle to walk run and this is the second pose we will we want to use which is idle crouch to uh, sneaking or crouch walk forward and in there connect that boolean now whenever this goes true okay we have to so 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 we have to use not here okay not boolean so basically 
when we are crouching, we are getting true here. But here we will get false, which will run that animation at output. So when we have false here, it will do the opposite of it and it will be a true here and we will get that animation out at there. So we can So we are done with this part and after that uh, I will show you the little problem Right now, if I press C, you will see that our camera grows down uh, for the crouch, but our character is not actually going to the crouch idle animation. It is because uh, we have to do the uh, same thing which we done here, also here, because in the idle, we have only standing idle animation running so also we have to do the same thing here so again select uh, blend pose bool in the true keep it and asset browser search for crouch animation and it is our crouch idle animation and plug it into the false pose now from there once again, we have to do not boolean and here. Now, after doing that, we will again uh, come in front of another problem, we, which is that one. So now, if I press C, our character goes into the crouch. But if I press forward button, you will see that animation. It is because uh, we have to uh, get rid of that part connect that directly there and now if we see our uh, crouch animation is working fine which is definitely not perfect but for this tutorial it is okay N and if I release a button C it is normally working and standing if I press C it goes into the crouch idle and while pressing C if I move my player it will uh, start to move in crouch animation so and now we will do uh, the footsteps sound and Niagara dust particles for the uh, let's close those so now in, in the normal we have that running animation so we have to apply the footstep sounds to that animation so I have uh, in the content tutorials SFX footstep folder I have these footstep SFX it is for the grass stone wood and wood too if you want to um, make a system or if you want to learn how to detect different surfaces and how to uh, play different sounds based on uh, different services uh, and like like you are seeing in this video right now you can watch my tutorial uh, here you can see the uh, link to it and also I have put a link in the description you can also follow that but for now for this tutorial we will do the simple full step now we will uh, use that footstep wood one on the running animation first now go back to our tutorial folder easy game mechanics 30 and it is our running animation so it is this is our running animation in the notifies add another track and name it as a uh, run or we can sounds okay now go to the point where our left foot touches the ground right there right click play sound and in the sound select word one now 
copy that by control C go to that point where our right foot touches the ground click here and press control V now do it same for left foot again now again for uh, right foot again here and in the last for the right foot now if we play it you can hear the footstep sounds now if we go here and press play button now our character has uh, footstep sounds on the running animation but what if we uh, go into the crouch animation right now there is no uh, animation or uh, sounds on the crouch animation now go back to our crouch animation which is in the content characters mixamo and it is our sneaking forward animation that one now again uh, rename it to sound now go to the point okay where our foot touches the ground here again play sound go to there wood now right here simply copy it and place it here now again here and here now we have sounds on sneaking animation also and if we press C now we have and in the same way uh, we can add Niagara system go back to our tutorial folder easy game mechanics 30 and this is a Niagara system which I created in the previous tutorial uh, you, you can see uh, pop up here and also the link is in the description you can learn how to make that Niagara system it is a simple system in which I have just uh, changed the value of spawn rate and added a velocity here in to make it go on the uh, negative y direction and give it a color of a bit brownish to give it a dusty look so it was a simple and in the systems i made the loop to once and loop duration to 0 0.8 and you can watch my previous tutorial uh, in that tutorial I showed you how I made that so in this tutorial we are going to simply add this Niagara uh, particle in our running animation and the crouch animation oh sorry the sneaking animation now go back to our running animation add another notify track make it Niagara or we can call it dust go to the uh, same point here right click add notify play niagara particle effect and select that one now if we move you can see we have the niagara particle now copy that and paste it here do it for all the times So now we have the dust particle. Now if you uh, notice that the dust particles are spawning in the center. If you want to make them align to the right feet and the left feet, uh, let's do it. For the left feet, this is, uh, uh, it is our x-axis in the positive x-axis, negative x-axis. And we are going to make an offset of 14 now see the difference 
our particles are spawning at that point where is our depth field now for the right make it minus 12 do it for again for the left 14 and for the right minus 12 and for the left 14 and again minus 12 now I you can notice if the dust particles are aligned to the right feet and the left feet let's check it here now when we go into the crouch state we have no dust particle so for that first of all save it now go back to our sneaking forward animation do the same process here add notify track call it dust go to that point and right click add notify play niagara system and uh, select that one and to copy that go there and go there and the last okay what happened now now again you can see the dust particles are in the center we can adjust them again 14 for the left for the right yes 14 on the right and for the right we have to make a value of minus 12 again for the left 14 and minus 12 now let's check in the editor our running animation and our crouch animation now we have one problem that uh, we want to reduce the uh, uh, voice uh, audio level of uh, crouched footstep sound so for that go, go back to sneaking forward select that the footstep sound notifier in the volume multiplier put the value of any any value which you uh, like to do and for me 014 is good man in the last here now if you hear our sneaking footstep sound will be low voice now check it in the editor So now our uh, running animation footstep sounds are higher and then the uh, footstep sounds for sneaking. So that was for the third person footsteps tutorial and in the next video we are going to work on the first, first person footsteps for running and the crouch and sneaking and uh, you can get project files on my Patreon. Till next tutorial, Allah Hafiz.